Hi, welcome to Taste This TV. I hope you enjoyed that uh, wine tour that we did in Mexico. Uh, incredible tasting, great product, great people, uh, and the weather was good. That always helps, right? Now, what we're going to do is talk about beef today. So here you have, this is how it comes. Now, you can, you can trim the silver skin off. You know, you can go underneath with your knife and, you know, do this whole pretty thing like that. And what you do is there's a chain here, so a fat chain. Uh, depending on where you are in the restaurant, and depending on how much the restaurant wants to make money or butcher shop, whatever, they'll leave the fat on and charge it. But here in Taste This TV, since we only serve our viewers the best, we're going to cut this chain off. Now, you might want to take some of this combination of fat and silver skin off. Some, a little bit of fat adds some flavor to it. And what we're going to do is we never serve the first piece on the end here, the steaks. It's usually a marinating uh, piece of beef. But if you notice, I'm going to lift this up, and you can see the marbling in this beef. Incredible. I'm going to cut two probably 12 to 13, 14 ounce pieces here. What we want to do with our steak is season it, right? So we've cut it. We know we want, you know, 12 ounce pieces or whatever, 14 ounce pieces. We're going to take some of our seasoning. And it's a combination of a whole bunch of good stuff. Uh, it, and, it's, and it's dried rosemary, oregano, crushed red pepper, a little bit of cumin, coriander, salt, pepper, uh, this here is a little bit of garlic and lime that we're going to put in there. And here's something you don't do every day is put a little coffee grinds in here as well. It's really going to take the steak to there. It's going to have that distinctive flavor. Nobody's going to really tell what it is, but it's going to be really good. Mm. And we're going to add a little bit more salt here. The salt is important. So whether you're using a ribeye or New York strip or tri-tip, this method is going to be great. All right, so now we're going to add some olive oil in our griddle. Now, even though this is a nonstick griddle, we still want the flavor of the olive oil. We're going to take our steak, all sides. There's no such thing on Taste This TV as we only season the front and the back of the steak. We get everything. The sides, the back, the front, and that's how it looks. It's covered in flavor, right? Take our steak and put it right down. And again, we're going to take our other cut. All right, so now we're going to uh, flip over our steaks and see kind of where we're at. I, I already smell them incorporating it. These ribeyes look fabulous. We're going to pick that. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That is beautiful. That's what you're looking at, my friends. Cut it nice and thick so it doesn't buckle up on you either. All right, turn that one over. And we're going to hit the fire up a little bit now. If you need to add a little bit more oil, you know, don't be shy. You know, olive oil is a good thing. All right, now we got our onion. And what we're going to do is uh, chop it up. We're going to do a julienne cut. Nice and thin. And we're going to put it right in the fire with a little bit of oil. And next, we're, cr we're creating a, a, a salsa that's going to go uh, probably on top of the rice. We're going to add our onions. This is such a great dish. And, and we're going to put wine in there as well to kind of go with our wine show here. Now, we have these olives. And we're going to cut these olives because, I mean, it's going to absorb the nice acidic flavor of, of the dish that we're trying to create here. Uh, but if you don't want the olive in there, you can take it out. Next, we have some tomatoes, just some regular tomatoes. Now, what I'm going to do is cut this tomato down like this and get big chunks out of it. Tomatoes are really going to work great with this dish. They go great with steak. I'm just going to put those right in there, like so. Okay. Now, a little salt and pepper goes a long way here. All right, now give this a toss. <coughs> I put so much pepper in there, it's killing me right now, but it's going to taste great. <coughs> now, we're going to add a little, excuse me, we're going to add a little bit of red wine. 
and let that kind of reduce down. It's going to really raise the heat. All right, now we're going to add some butter into this sauce, and it'll kind of bring it together, give it some body, give it some flavor, and more importantly, thicken it up a bit. And our steak is uh, just about done. While this is boiling down, I want to show you what I've done with this, uh, this rice. This is a thick grain rice. And what I'm going to do is take some blue cheese and put it right in there and mold it in. Now you just give this a quick second and what you're going to find out is the blue cheese is going to melt really nicely with the rice. Now I've talked about in other shows for my loyal fans that are out there. So you know that I love blue cheese and rice. Or any type of blue cheese with steak, gorgonzola, I love it. Now we're going to take a little bit of olive oil, put it in our rice. It's going to help bring everything together. Wow, that's nice. You see how that blue cheese is melting nicely? All right, well, that'll about do it. Now we get our plate. Steak looks just about done. Yummy, yummy. Now we got this thick grain rice that we talked about, which has got an incredible flavor. with our blue cheese. And we're going to take our sauce. All right, now you can see it's getting really thick. The butter really helps out with that. Now we're going to take our thick sauce, make a little bed here, and we're going to put our incredible sauce here right on the plate. Now, we're going to get our steak. You've got two there, so take your pick. And what I'm going to do just for fancy purposes is cut a little bit of the fat off on this end. Take our steak, put it right over the top. And I have some of these microgreens that I'm going to be using. This is called Petite Basil Midnight. And you guessed it, it tastes a bit like basil. And they're going to go great on top of these greens here. So what I'm going to do is just put some on top. Now I'm going to take a little, you know, a little bit of tomato, put it on the side here. A little bit, cut, you know, a couple of onions and a couple of olives. Put it there. Take some sauce and kind of drizzle it around the side. And here you have it. So this is our ribeye dish, our steak dish, incredible, seasoned to perfection on both sides. And if you look, cooked perfect, mid-rare, combination of this sauce and everything is going to have you wanting more. Uh, next up, my definition of carbonara with pasta, no cream. Don't go anywhere. All right, so now my version of carbonara. Now, uh, through a couple of emails that I've received, uh, people want to know if there's any heavy cream in carbonara. I've had it with heavy cream, don't like it. I think it's more of like a, an Alfredo. This is more of the traditional kind of uh, carbonara that you will see in Italy. Uh, now, one thing you need is, is a good amount of pancetta and a good quality pancetta. Uh, and that's what I've got here. I've got it sliced, and what I'm going to do is dice it. Because this recipe is strictly about the pancetta and the cheese. Add your pancetta. Wash your hands. Okay. And what you're going to do at this point is move your pancetta around because you want to render and release the fats into the pan. You've got a nice hot pan that we're working with here. Make sure you get all the, the renderings down pat. And let those kind of cook down until it, it gets somewhat crispy. Don't be afraid to add some more oil if needed. All right, our pasta is ready. Now you can use any kind of pasta you want. You could use uh, thin pasta or thick. 